Hi guys, this is H.C. Bailey. I just wanted to update you on uh, what's been going on with the channel, update you guys on my future projects, and just some things I've been up to. Uh, first, I'd like to reiterate that Super Mario RPG is still going to be my next main Let's Play series, following Final Fantasy X and, well, now Hex's Force. Uh, for now, Hex's Force is going to be my main LP. I just want to wrap that up. Probably got a week's worth of episodes left at, at most. So, and then I can move on to new projects like Super Mario RPG. I've done a lot of research on the game. I will be doing everything in the game, or at least everything that I'm aware of. I mean, the game's just full of secrets. And I've, I've done a lot of research to try and find each and every little nitpicking thing in there. And somehow I still think I've missed some secrets. But, uh, well, we'll see, see what happens with that. But, uh, yeah, I've done a lot of research on that. So hopefully that'll be a very thorough LP and everything will work out there. Uh, as for Hex's Force, uh, yeah, I've got the finale coming up soon. Uh, I've got the new uh, Neutral Endings, the exclusive New Game Plus content and hard mode, but yeah, that shouldn't take too long there. Uh, also, with Super Mario RPG, uh, now that my health is mostly in order here, uh, I'm going to be going back to the my usual 12 or 15 minute episode format uh, because I'll be uploading every day now or at least almost every day probably I'm hoping like at least six out of seven days out of the week so uh, yeah the reason why I was why I've been making the episode so much longer like double that is well because my health was inconsistent and I figured well if I'm not uploading every day let's just you know upload two episodes worth of content in one day so that's what I've been doing there but now I've been, especially in the last month, I've been feeling a lot better. So I think I can feel safe going back down to smaller episodes, which is more enjoyable for me. Making longer episodes just takes a lot of time to record and edit and review and all that stuff. So I, it would be uh, easier for me to go back down to shorter episodes, especially with a shorter game like Super Mario RPG, too. So, I mean, it's not going to be like a 100-episode LP, even at that length. So, I think things will work better with that. And speaking of shorter games, I'd like to announce another LP that I'll be doing in the near future. Fazanadu, or Faxanadu, or however you want to pronounce it. Uh, when I was a child, I pronounced it Faxanadu, but... I didn't know about the Xanadu series that it's a spinoff of. So I, yeah, I'll probably go back and forth between pronunciations, but I think the technical pronunciation is Fizanadu. Uh Yeah, it's a action platformer, or, well, action RPG platformer, a uh, game from my childhood that I've been meaning to get around to making an LP of, but well, I just hadn't done it until, until now. So I've got everything ready to go with that one. Uh, probably going to make that into a side LP, but I don't want to uh, commit to when I'm going to do that. I mean, I may save it for, like, after Mario RPG or something, or I don't know. I mean, it, it would be a pretty short LP, too. I mean, probably no more than 10 or 12 episodes, I think, so... And uh, as for any other future projects that I've been thinking of, uh, I have not forgotten about the poll from last year with uh, Parasite Eve, uh, Secret of Evermore, Four Heroes of Light. So, yeah, I mean, those are pro probably going to be my top priorities to uh, get into. Uh, obviously, Lunar 2, because I already did the first game, and it's been a while since I did the first one, so I've been meaning to get into that, too. So, yeah, I've got a lot on my plate, just those games, let alone any other any number of other JRPG series like uh, Suikoden, uh, Wild Arms, Star Ocean, more Breath of Fire games. I've actually also been playing uh, Mega Man Battle Network on the Wii U there, and uh, yeah, I've, I've played like the fir up through the first boss, so I'm not sure how much I like that, but uh, well, I'll probably give it another shot sooner or later. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Pretty much every game that you guys were recommending me to LP in that last Final Fantasy X episode, pretty much all of them are somewhere on my list of, like, 100 games <laughs> that I could potentially want to LP. And I'm not exaggerating 100. Well, it's probably, like, 
85, 90, somewhere around there, but a lot of games. I am not running out of JRPGs to LP anytime soon. Uh, another one that I've thought of, uh, um, obviously, sooner or later, I'm going to LP the DS version of Final Fantasy IV. But, obviously, now we have the PC version, which not only would make it immensely easier for me to record, but also easier for you guys to watch, so we don't have all that split-screen stuff going on with the DS versions of the game. And from what I've played of it, it runs really, really nice. I really like it with the... I've gotten my uh, Super Nintendo controller to work with it and everything, so... And you don't have any of the touchscreen controls or anything like that. Um, yeah, but yeah, I mean, it's not a high pri incredibly high priority, especially since I... Uh, made the LP for the PSP version only a couple years ago. So probably want to hold off on that one. But, well, I just wanted to throw that out there just to see what you guys thought about that. But uh, let's see some other things I've been working on, or just playing for fun. Uh, I've been playing the Dragon Quest 1 and 2 on my Android tablet. And, uh, well, I've already beaten 1, and I'm almost done with 2. I just made it to the final dungeon there, so got to do some... Probably got to do some level grinding. I don't know. Almost got killed on the way there. Again. But yeah, I mean, Dragon Quest 1, I, I really enjoyed there. Uh, I especially liked the retro feel that they were going for with it, with the uh, Elizabethan accents, or whatever you call those things. Like the, thou, thy, all that stuff. And even the graphics seem to have a bit of a retro feel to it, too. Uh, the only thing that I that bothered me about the game is they went out of their way to put in those accents, but then they didn't bring back But Thou Must. How could you not do that? I mean, it's like leaving out You Spoony Bard in any translation of Final Fantasy IV. Come on! But other than that, the, the game's great. Uh, it's very enjoyable, very comparable to the uh, Game Boy Color version of the game, just with... a graded graphics and all that stuff, and the touchscreen controls, which work surprisingly well. I mean, it, but it is a turn-based JRPG, so it's it's not like an action game or, or anything like that. So, not really complex, but even like the, uh, what do you call that? The thing you use to move around your characters, the artificial D-pad, or whatever the technical term is for that, I forget. But yeah, I mean, that works really nice, especially compared to some of their earlier uh, Android games that I've played there, but yeah, I really like how it worked there. Uh, pretty much the same thing for Dragon Quest 2. Uh, that's, uh, the interesting thing about t the second game, though, is that they've made a lot more balancing changes than they did with the first game. I mean, the first game is pretty much almost identical to the Game Boy Color version, but the second game is uh, pretty different there. I mean, it's still very similar to the Game Boy Color version, as opposed to the NES version, and it's still a lot closer to the Game Boy Color version, but they've still made some uh, some interesting balancing changes with like how some of the the spells work. Uh, that's pretty much the the major change with the, with the spells. Obviously, translation differences and things like that. Uh, they changed like how you get some of the key items in the game to make more logical sense for how you to get that like don't make you go to the final dungeon in order to get the key item to make you back out of the final dungeon so that way you can get the other key item so that way you can go back to the final dungeon again like the nes version now now they've cut that crap out and they've made it much more logical to collect things like that so i like that change too uh, but yeah, like I said, I almost got killed on the way to the, the final save point there. So it's still fairly challenging. It's it's somewhere in between the NES and the Game Boy Color version as far as difficulty goes. So, But yeah, I like the, the changes that they made. The only problem that I have with it is like the healing spells seem to uh, take a while to load up for some reason. I, I don't know why, but... Other than that, um, yeah, everything else is really nice about that game. So, Okay, well, I just wanted to let you know what I've been up to, what my projects are going on, what I'm thinking about. Uh, right now, I'm doing a test run for Super Mario RPG. 
so I can kind of refresh my memory because it's been a while since I did my last test run there. I'm about halfway through the game now. So hopefully once I'm done with Hexus Force, I'll be done with that test run and we'll be all set and ready to go. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.